Hi, I'm Rabenschild and today we solve our storage problems and I have some news for you. And we are back on the Technical Beast server. Hello guys. Um, I came out to the wild of uh, Technical Beast here to talk to you for a moment. A village, nice. Um, yeah, Nathan and me were busy the last uh, week. We tried to repair the map and get rid of uh, the sun lake we have and a few other problems this map still has, I think. And um, But we think we've fixed a lot of it. And um, now... Um, yeah, we hope that uh, everything runs fine now, but we cannot really tell. We hope that um, yeah, everything works out now, but um, hmm, maybe there are other things we have to do to get rid of some problems here, because we had to do a lot. We we have oh, we have uh, killed all chunk loaders. We changed things in the configs, we reduced the map by 900 M megabytes and we yeah, got rid of a lot of machines. We tear, tear down my half, tear down my farms. I think that's right. Uh, right. Maybe someone can tell me. Um, and yeah, but um, at the moment the lag seems fine, but it actually comes back sometimes and we hope that we can yeah get rid of it but if we can't we have to see what what we are doing um but one thing we managed we managed to um change the pack we are on the ultimate pack now and what we can do with this is we or what we have now is more mods and more things to show and um, so that's why I'm exploring here, because I want to see if I can find anything new that I haven't seen at the moment. And maybe I get get to cave a little bit later. But um, yeah, at the moment I want to show you a thing I want to do in my base. And that's why I'm going back because I have a storage room there that's not really working. And uh, with the new mods, I think we can change th uh, that. So let's go back to the base and uh, see what we can do there. As you know, my uh, storage here is not really working as I wanted it to work. But with the pack change, we can do something now. And I think that will be very nice. Um, as you can see, I installed some weird uh, yeah, wires or tubes here. And these lead up to the tower and down to this chest-like thing. Yeah, this is an ME chest from Applied Energistics. And um, I want to use these chests to store my items now. Because I think with the right um, storage disk, and that is an item we have to do, uh, or we have to build in a second, um, I think I can store all these items that I have here in this little box. Damn, that's so nice. <laughs> yeah, and then I want to connect my ender chest here to this box. And... Um, yeah, then it works like intended. I can get uh, all the items I uh, yeah mine or something into my storage system here. And that's really, really nice. Um, but as you saw here, there's something missing. I can't put stuff in here. And um, what is missing is a storage disk. I think uh, these are the storage disks Yeah, here. And I want to build some one of these. And because I don't want to uh, start with uh, 1K storage, I will uh, start with uh, with this thing here, I think. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, that's all we need. 
I think this will be very... Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I think I will do that off camera because uh, the process could be could took very long and uh, I don't want to bore you. So we'll be back in a second with the, the storage disk. And storage disk get. ME64, 64K storage? That's the biggest storage disk. So we can store, I think, 64,000 items in the box. Don't know, maybe you can tell me that. But we have to take this storage disk here, put it into the box, and now we can place item in it. And you can see, here's the item, and we can just get it out of there when we want it. But um, we want to connect our and a chest here, and all these storage barrels. And what I want to do to, yeah, get all the items out of the storage uh, barrels is connect an ejector to this router, and now we can eject to the top, south. We have to test that out, where it ejects from, or to Let's see, extract, and it is not extracting to the storage disk. Yeah, now it is ejecting to the ender chest. I hope. Is it? Mm. Let's test it again, maybe, east. East is not right. West. West seems to be right, okay. Um, and now we have to connect these wires here. These are ME cables from uh, Applied Energistics to our network here. By the way, the network controller or the ME controller is at the top of the tower. It is connected to my energy system here because the whole ME system, uh, uh, Applied Energistics system, needs energy. And now I have uh, this thing, the ME import bus, that is a thing I can connect to this chest and this thing will automatically take the items that are in this chest, um, get them out of here and store them in the storage. Yeah, you can see, cobblestone is coming in. Nice. And now the only change I will make is get it to grab stacks out of here. No? Works fine. Nice. And system should empty out. And I think it's grabbing stuff from the chest here. Or? Oh, it could be from the <laughs> could be from the the furnaces I used to connect the the system here. But we will just let it run. I think visit all machines in the, in the network and now it just takes time to empty out all the barrels. Um, I think uh, we don't have to yeah, wait for that and just do something else. But we will take a look later what the uh, Applied Energistic System here did. Okay, see what we can do next. It is a bit later now, and see, I got rid of all the barrels, and I installed some more stuff. I couldn't wait, and now I have all these stations here. These are all uh, items or blocks from Applied Energistics. Um, I hope you know some of the stuff. Um, if you want to know more about the stuff, um, Nathan did some not tutorials, a mod spotlight for Applied Energistics. But uh, don't fear to ask me if you want to see more of Applied Energistics. Here I have the terminal where I can see what items I have stored in my Applied Energistics system and what items I can craft. Yeah, you heard right. I can craft items from here and that's nice. Um, because I can save crafting recipes and then... Um, yeah, just uh, yeah, kind of rebuild them from here with the items I've stored in here. And for that, I need some yeah, 
some special blocks and that's why we are going up here because up here is the computer core or something like that yeah molecular molecular assembler chamber uh, chamber in here are all the uh, items i can craft now these are at the moment most items from applied energistics but some other items i have in here too uh, yeah and some easier stuff and all that but i want to add more items uh, soon um these are machines yeah normal machines from thermal expansion but i added some applied energistics tubes to them so they are auto crafting for me uh this powered furnace for example can auto craft some stuff for me uh, glass and um yeah, refined iron and uh, some stuff for applied energistics. That's totally nice. I can uh, put in uh, recipes here, and these recipes will just will get crafted just here, so that my applied energistics set, uh, setup here can just craft some items on the go. If I need glass for an, uh, another item, the system can see the the recipes in here and can just craft it on its own that's totally nice and this um, blast induction smelter sorry is um, actually set up to um, automatically uh, yeah get my ores uh, uh, yeah mm, smelted here <laughs> for me and um, so I, I just stick the ores into my applied energistics setup and they they get uh, smelted automatically in this system here this is a pulverizer that produces sand for the uh, for the <coughs> induction furnace induction furnace induction smelter man get your words straight and this is um, and also, um, it stores the sand in the system, um, uh, and the, so that I have a constant number of sand in the system. And this is an uh, igneous extruder. Does the same for uh, for cobblestone. And this is the <laughs> this is the chest I had there, the the ender chest I had there before, and uh, this ender chest is um, yeah is. Um, Bring in all the items in I use with my ender pouch here. So I get ca get to caving and then I just stick the stuff in there and it lands automatically in my applied energistics setup. And up here is the controller you need for the system. It is connected directly to my energy system, so I don't have to worry that uh, it ever runs out of energy. And then it connects down to the other stuff I have there. What I wanted to do now, or actually I did some of it already, but I want to do more and I will show you in a second, is I want to run down a line to um, my um, biomass farm. Yeah, biomass farm. Uh, so that all the items that come from the biomass farm or have to go into the biomass farm also run through the applied energistics setup so I can control where they are coming from and um, where they go and all that stuff. And this is the line that goes out uh, uh, on the outside of the tower to my farms down there. There you can see it. I fit it in the back, so if somebody comes from the front, he doesn't see it. Um, I will go down to uh, the farm setup and s uh, show you what I've done there already, and then um, I think I will hook up my um, farms to the system and actually connect the routers. I have to... Um, yeah, supply the fermenters with uh, sugarcane, um, hook up, uh, hook them up to the system, and then um, I can see, or I will show you how I do that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, we'll see in a second. And here is the other end of the cable. You can see that that's the outside of my tower, 
it comes down the tower and into my machine room with my fermenters and the alveary and all that stuff. And at the moment, it is just connected to this router here. That's the router that supplies the alveary with proven frames. And the good thing is now I can go over to Nathan, shop at his apiarist, stick the proven frames into my ender parch, and it automatically gets transferred into my applied energistic setup and gets uh, yeah, brought down here to the router and yeah, to the alveary. That's totally nice. One thing I did down here, because at the moment nothing else is connected to it, but we will do that. Um, the only thing I did is um, yeah, connect this uh, wireless access point to the system. With the wireless access point, I can take my wireless access terminal, right-click it, and then I can yeah, do all the things I can do up there in my tower. Uh, down here too, I can craft stuff, I can um, access uh, all the things in my... In my um, uh, in my storage room. For example, I took out this saddle, now I, I, I can just put it back. And um, so I can, can see what I have here and I can um, yeah, build all the stuff I need um, to build more of the, the ME stuff, the uh, AE stuff. And that's what we uh, will do in a second. And uh, we will connect the centrifuge here to the uh, applied energistic system, uh, system and connect the uh, mulch system to it because then I can just break down here the mulch system here and um, uh, get it so that the mulch is provided by my applied energistic system. system. Um, I can't get my words straight today. Um, Okay, I will start crafting and then we will connect the stuff. So here I crafted an ME import bus and some cables and now I just need an export bus for now. And you can see that's how you craft. You just click on it, craft and then tell him how many and it crafts it for you. The only thing that's a bit is I have to search for it, but I found it. Okay, now we take our cables, just um, lead them down here. Um, these cables are, yeah, really nice. Um, the only thing is every cable needs energy and uh, that's why I have the controller up there on the tower that is connected to my energy system because then the system can just take the uh, take the um, okay take the man <laughs> take the energy from my system and uh, I don't have to uh, be worried about how it can keep up. Okay, this is an uh, import bus. With the import bus, I can get stuff that comes into the centrifuge and gets into this field here. After it is processed, it will be put here. Um, it just imports it into my uh, applied energistic system. And I let's see if I can see the mulch already in there because, yeah, see, um, it already imported mulch from the centrifuge into the system. That's nice. Um, good thing is that also um, uh, the honey drops here get imported into the system. So I have no need for this connection anymore and I don't have uh, no need for this connection anymore. Because now I can just go this route and take more cables and just uh, let's see how I can run it. I would run it this way for now. Uh, maybe I have to change that later and see what I can do 
with it. I think I also will connect the the alveary to the system somehow and get the combs processed in the centrifuge. And maybe I will move the centrifuge to a place where it is more suited and looks a bit nicer. So what we don't need anymore is this and this. Oh, see, there was a lot of mulch in there. And what we need now is an export bus. Export bus means that it takes items out of the applied energistic system and puts it into the puts it into the router here. And what I want to have in there is mulch. So I just tell the export bus put mulch in there. If I could even tell him to uh, go into stack mode and just move stacks into the router, but I don't think that's necessary. And now I can just take my access terminal and put the mulch I have got from breaking the uh, relay. I can just get it into my applied energetic system. That's good. Automated, fun, looks nice. Um, and can replace the barrels here and all these line here. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to do next. Um, but I have to l see how many time we still have. And maybe I have to wrap up the episode and we will see what I do with the, um, yeah, what I will do with uh, Applied Energistics next. But one thing I wanted to do uh, I will go up to the t the tower and uh, we will talk about that in a second. It is really time to wrap up the episode, but one thing I wanted to tell you is um, this armor here, mm, it smells kind of funny now. I, I think I wore it too long and I need a little bit of replacement so that I can switch out if one of the armor is getting cleaned or something. So I have to um, yeah, kind of fill this armor stand with a new thing. And we don't want to have normal armor, so we have to see what we can do in the next episode, maybe. Um, but for now, now I have to wrap up. One thing I wanted to tell you, uh, I, I think this episode goes out on Sunday, and so I have to tell you, call your mother. It is Mother's Day, so <laughs> be nice to your mother. Okay, guys, as always, if you like the episode, leave a like, leave comments if you want, and if you have suggestions, ideas, or just want to tell me something or ask something, please consider subscribing to me on Twitter. And um, yeah, I think we will see in the next episode. So, see ya!